Hello viewers, myself Marcus Ahmed. My seminar topic is Langmuth Institute model of heterogeneous catalysis. Uh, these are the contents. First introduction, steps involved in heterogeneous catalysis reaction, Langmuth Institute model, single site LS model, and real site LS model, and last references. Introduction. Before going to uh, understand what is uh, Langmuth Institute model of heterogeneous catalysis, first understand what is heterogeneous catalysis. Heterogeneous catalysis uh, is a type of catalysis in which the catalyst found in different phase from that at the reactant production found. And the catalyst is usually a solid and it absorbs liquid or gas. It is of great importance in industrial processes. For example, in Haber's process of ammonia synthesis, iron based solid catalyst is used. And another example is contact oxidation of sulfur dioxide to form sulfur trioxide in the presence of vanadium pentoxide uh, as a catalyst. Steps involved in heterogeneous catalysis reaction. According to Langmuir Hinshaw Hollywood mechanism, this is reaction taking place on the surface of the solid involves following elementary steps. In step one, diffusion of reactant uh, to, the, to, to the surface uh, through the path or cracks available on the surface. Step two is absorption of reactant at the surface, thus forming a bond. In step three, chemical reaction on the surface. Reactants are bound together on the surface of the a solid chemical reaction will take place and intermediate will form. In step 4, deception of product from the surface. The intermediate form in the form in the step 3 uh, now dissolved from the uh, surface and again became available for adsorption. In, in step 5, diffusion of product away from the surface. The intermediate now finally disintegrate to form product. Langmuir Hinsellut model. In Langmuir Hinsellut model, it is catalyzed by solid, liquid, or gas and the uh, reaction occur only on the surface of the solid catalyst. Langmuir Hinsellut proposed following model, first a single site LS model and another is dual site LS model. In single site LS model, the only one, only when only one reactant is absorbed on the active side of the surface as forming the compound AS. Now the AS compound may dissolve or may decompose to form the product. It is treated in terms of Langmuir uh, Langmuir adjustment isotherm. Uh, according to Langmuir, the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the fraction of site that is uh, covered. That is theta, that is R is directly proportional to theta. And from Langmuir adjustment isotherm, theta value is determined. Theta value can be determined. And substituting this value of theta in the rate expression in the rate equation 1, we will get the rate expression for Langmuir uh, Hinsel single site model and this rate expression can also be written in terms of concentration. Uh, for, from this uh, equation there are two special cases which arise. Uh, the, in first case when the concentration of the reactant is very very low uh, then the rate of the reaction is a uh, first order reaction. When the can, uh, and in case two when the concentration of the reactant is very very high then, then the rate of the reaction is independent of the concentration that is it is a zero order reaction. Here in the rate versus concentration graph, you see that the rate of the reaction path increases and at higher concentration, the graph becomes flat. That is, here is the saturation, uh, surface becomes saturated. In dual site LS model, two reactants uh, A and B uh, compete for the same adsorption site S. Here in the figure, you can see uh, forming the compound AS and BS. Uh, now, the AS and BS. Uh, after getting adsorbed on the uh, adsorbed on the surface, AS and BS combine together to form the product. Uh, the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the fraction of site covered by A and fraction of site covered by B. There is theta A and theta B. And rate of adsorption of A and B are, are uh, directly proportional to the uh, partial pressure of the reactant and vacant site available on the surface. And rate of desorption is directly proportional to the fraction of site covered by A and fraction of site covered by B. At equilibrium, the rate of absorption is that is equal to the rate of desorption. And after equating uh, equation 5 and equation 6, we will get the value of theta a and theta b. That is fraction of side covered by a and fraction of side covered by b. b. Now substituting this value of theta and theta b in the rate law, we will get the rate expression for real side LS model. And this rate expression can also be written in terms of concentration. And from the rate expression, we will uh, get three cases, special cases. In case 1, when both the reactants A and B absorb quickly, then the rate of the reaction is first order with respect to A and first order with respect to B. And overall, it is a second order reaction. In case 2, uh, if uh, if 
So if A reactive will absorb more strongly than the, than B, then the rate of the reaction is uh, first order with respect to B, that is weakly absorbed uh, component. In case 3, if one of the reactant is more strongly absorbed than the other, let us consider A is the reactant, uh, which, it, which is, uh, is the more strongly absorbed component, then the rate of the reaction is inversely proportional to the strongly absorbed component, that is A. Here in the red versus uh, concentration graph, we see that the rate of the reaction first uh, increases at lower concentration passing through a maxima and at higher concentration the rate of the reaction decreases. So, the rate of the reaction is decreases at higher concentration is due to the, the one reactant displaces the other at higher concentration and maximum rate corresponds to the maximum number of AB pairs on the uh, surface. Uh, these are my reference.